Hi there, welcome to our BCR Excel script update 3. In this video we're going to take you through the additions for version 3 of our script which should be available by the time you see this. First up for this version of the script we've added return track control which you can see right justified down the side of the controller here. and we have several modes in which this can operate. You'll notice that when we're displaying returns and normal tracks that we've changed the indicator on the volume knob so you can tell the difference between the return tracks and the normal tracks. If we add some more normal tracks then you can see that in this mode which is mode 1 the normal tracks take priority so we now have eight tracks and they're taking up all of the slots if we move left then the return tracks will move on If we enable returns mode 2, which is done via the config bar, then initially it looks the same as returns mode 1, but the return tracks are now fixed on the right hand side and will take priority over the normal tracks. So if I add some additional normal tracks, then you can see that even though we have eight of these now, we're still displaying the two return tracks here. And we can scroll left and right to access the additional normal tracks. So whatever happens, our return tracks are always going to be fixed at the right hand side of the controller. Returns mode 3 and 4 are toggle modes and use the same button for the trackfold so trackfold is not available if you're using returns mode 3 or 4 so in the first of the toggle mode we have our normal tracks displayed and we can update those and if we toggle into returns mode then we're no longer displaying any normal tracks and we're now displaying our return tracks so in toggle mode, rather than having returns and normal tracks on the controller, we toggle between them and we're controlling one or the other. The second version of the toggle mode or returns mode 4 is similar, still uses the toggle button, but we'll toggle the return tracks onto the right hand side of the controller. So I'm not displaying any return tracks here, just got my normal tracks. If I hit the toggle, then my return tracks will be overlaid on the right hand side of the controller. And these will then take priority over the normal tracks. So I have eight normal tracks up here now. If I toggle the returns on, then they'll occupy the right hand positions and overlay the normal tracks. I can still scroll along to those if I want to access them and I can toggle the returns off to return to normal track processing. For this version of the script we've also added an option to allow you to control pans. If the option is enabled in the config file then encoder group 2 will take us to the pan control. So if I switch it into that now then I have pan control for my tracks. And we've also added track bank size where you can determine how many tracks are moved each time you use the track bank buttons. So in this case I've got it set to two so instead of scrolling across left and right by one track at a time I'm actually going to go two tracks at a time. And this can be set to any number that you wish. Finally for this version of the script there's an option to enable 14-bit absolute mode which gives much finer grain control of the main controls here. So this includes the volume controls and the 24 sends, not the pan controls which are still on the 7-bit mode.
the resolution of this is currently fixed at around 256 steps. We'll make this configurable in a future update. You can play around with this and it's not that easy to demonstrate here, but I can give you a quick view in the fact if I turn this down to zero, then to get this up to the top is about two full turns. So that's in 14 bit mode set to about 256 steps. If I switch over to the pans, which are still on 7 bit mode and with the normal 128 steps, then as you can see, I can do a full rotation left to right with one hand movement quite easily. Whereas with the pans, which are set to 14 bit mode, it takes two rotations to perform the same movement. Thanks for watching and for your support with our controller scripts. Uh, we'll have more updates for you in the future and we hope that these make your BCR experience even more enjoyable.